why is it every time I ride by this particular point that I see that cat? You know, alley cats, they're just all over this neighborhood. I wonder why. Where do they come from? Yeah, such a beautiful day. There's Miss Sally. Wonder if she watches Paint Pot Alley. Let's see now, did I get anything? See, I got my brown bag and my shoes and my earplugs and my peanut butter sandwich. Can't remember if I got the sparkle or not. I do have extra paper. It's Jack Lover's Paint Pot Alley. Come on up and let's see what's happening today. Hello, boys and girls. Welcome to Paint Pot Alley. I've been to the beach, and I brought back a lot of souvenirs, and today I'm going to share those with you. I've just been spreading them out here. We'll take a close look at them. But before we do that, I'm going to sing a song that was inspired by this very souvenir right here. Yes, it's a coconut head. Well, let's see what kind of song we can write about a coconut head, all right? Put that down there and let's try it. Mr. Coconut Head, Mr. Coconut Head, you with the seashell eyes. You've got such a coconut stare and I notice that you're covered with coconut hair. Mr. Coconut Head, Mr. Coconut Head, how did you ever find me? I know that you used to live on the top of a big old coconut tree. Well, you sure are ugly, but you sure look wise. I wonder what you see with your seashell eyes. Your skin's like wood, I think that's rare. How do you comb your coconut hair, Mr. Coconut Head, Mr. Coconut Head? How did you ever find me? Well, I know that you used to live on the top of a big old coconut tree. Yeah, okay, that's it, folks, that's it. But don't go away, there's more. That's the song about the coconut, and I did get him at a gift shop, because when I go to the beach, I always like to stop and look around and pick up a few little items, and, and I guess you'd call them souvenirs, okay? So let's see what I brought back with me. For example, I brought back this beautiful seashell doll. And I have to let you know now, I did not make this, but I found it and it gave me an idea. That's right, it sure did. Maybe I'll make myself a seashell doll because I brought back some shells, too, that I could just do something like that with. Isn't she pretty? All right, let's see what else we've got here. Ooh, here's a funny little fish that comes apart. Wait a minute. Ah, I can keep things in it. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Nothing in there, though. Fish, fish, fish. So it's like a little fish purse, I guess you'd say. And then we have a starfish, speaking of fish. Yes. Beautiful starfish. All of these came from the souvenir shop. I love to stop at the souvenir shop. I'm telling you, there's a lot of things to find on the beach, but it's sometimes it's just fun to go in the souvenir shop. Whether you really get anything or not, you can look around. I got this seashell there. It's very unusual. The end is cut off. See how the end's cut off? Now watch what happens when I blow in. What do you think? Sounds like a ship, doesn't it? Oh, got a couple of wind-ups. Got to show you those real quick. We've got so many things to do on the show today. I seem to be rushing along, I know. There goes the octopus. Here comes the little man in the boat chasing the octopus. Oh, he caught him. Oh, he passed him. Oh, here's something else here, too. I'm just running around all over the place. This is the porpoise. See how he swims? There he goes up the wave, and then he comes back down the wave. And here he comes back. Oh, not quite. Tell you what, let's let him dance while we do the song, okay? Let's do the song one more time. The porpoise will dance, and then we'll take a look at something and come back and build a lighthouse. What do you say, all right? Mr. Coconut Head, Mr. Coconut Head, you with the seashell eyes. Now you've got such a coconut stare, and you're covered with coconut hair, Mr. Coconut Head, Mr. Coconut Head. How did you ever find me? 
Well, I know that you used to live on the top of a big old coconut tree. Well, you sure are ugly, but you sure look wise. I wonder what you see with your seashell eyes. Your skin's like wood, I think that's rare. Tell me, how do you comb your coconut hair? Mr. Coconut Head, Mr. Coconut Head, how did you ever find me? Well, I know that you used to live on the top of a big old coconut tree. Take a look at this, folks. I'll be right back. Oh, you know what? I was, I remember that time that, that that big friendly dog decided to chase us down the road. He wanted to, he had that big wet tongue. Remember that? He was nice, doggy. But we had to run. Oh, and run. Yeah. He wagged yeah. his tail. Oh, yeah, he, he wagged, wagged, his, wagged tail. his tail back and forth. Right. And course, he, he had bugs. He jumped he over the bugs. fence. He jumped oh. over the fence. Oh, we. <laughs> right, we ran. Oh, we, but we ran because we didn't want to get whipped from no. his tongue. He was, he was, and then, and then, and then, he, 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 we heard. We <laughs> did. Oh, yeah, yeah. And he turned, he turned around. And he started and running he again. Ran. Oh. Oh. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> and, he, and you tried to grab his tail. Do you remember that? Yeah, wait, back and forth. Yeah. But you didn't, because mm -hmm. that would have hurt him. Mm -hmm. <laughs> hey, uh, that paint really paints in an unusual way on this material. I'll tell you that. That should do it, though. Just, uh... What exactly is that, Jack? Uh, well, I'll tell you, Bill. This is for Mrs. Greenpea. And uh, it, uh, well, it's going to be a window. It's kind of a little flag for You'll notice with the window here how there's a window cross section. Mm -hmm. Well, this is one of those simple ones. This is a cross section. Now, I haven't painted this part around here yet, but I don't want to do that till this dries. So oh, I, I want it to dry, and I'm going to... It's going to be a little smaller than that one. Oh, yeah, it's just a, it's like a flag or something. But I'm going to hang it out here and let the air help dry it. Yeah, yeah, I hope do I don't forget that. I want to remember that's there because it's... Oh. Uh, um, you know, the reason I was painting on that is because I really had my paints out to work on these other things from the, the ocean trip. You know, I had such oh, a yeah. great time at the ocean, Bill. You've got to, you've got to make a trip down there. Did you, did you, there was sand there, too, huh? sand there was sand there was shells oh, wow. and uh, of course uh, before you got here i was I had some things i'd gotten in the souvenir shop i got some of those around i'll show them to you but mm -hmm. let me show you what i'm working on right now because i think you're going to love this one of the things that i liked the most about my trip were uh, seeing these lighthouses oh, I, well, I, I i saw one of those they aren't they great they're they're yeah. they're so beautiful and so many artists do paintings of them mm -hmm. and all um, now, as I understand it, they're, they're there to signal the ships, to let them know that, that there's land there and, and to help guide the ships so that they know, you know that there's port. And, and supposedly, some of these lighthouses are very, very tall. Mm -hmm. You can see the, the beam of the light way, way mm -hmm. out in the ocean. A lot of times, there, there are rocks around the, the lighthouses, and they don't want the uh, ships to run into the rocks. That, yes, that's right. So they turn the light on, and that warns the And then the, the ship ships won't come crashing, come, come crashing in. Crashing Actually, in some ways, the milk bottle building kind of reminds me of a lighthouse, because, you know, we're tall. We're tall like that's that. Right. Let me show you what I'm thing. building, though, Bill. This is... Uh, I've taken a mailing tube. You can probably see here. I've got mm -hmm. all kinds of mailing oh, yeah. tubes I around. Know you save a lot of and uh, I save those because you just never know when something's going to come along you want to work with. Uh, well, I thought I'm going to build a model of a lighthouse, a model. and maybe I could even get it to light up. Well, you know, things don't always work out quite like you plan. Uh, what I my plan was is I would take a box like this. You can see that this is just a box. And I would cut a hole in it, and then I would set it down like so, and I would put a flashlight in there. Mm -hmm. And the truth is, I couldn't get a light to fit in it, and so it just didn't work out. You see, that's why I cut the, mm -hmm. this part of the tube off. I thought I'd have the light mm -hmm. shine in there, and it would shine up to the top. But, oh, but anyway, you can see how it goes here. I know. Hey, you know, I, I have something that might help you. What's that, I, I brought a light I was using last night. We were out camping. Yeah? Out in the park. And I always use this. And this, would, this is the perfect I, you, size I've for you. I've seen you with that light before. You carry this with you all the time, I've noticed. Have you ever turned that on? Go ahead and turn that on and put it on top of the lighthouse and see how it well, works. Well, okay. No, wait a minute. 
Yeah, there. There, that, that's it. Okay, now let's see here. Mm. Uh, it doesn't work real well. You know something, Bill? It might be a little this heavy light, for that. This light is too big. Yeah, I guess. It, I mean, a lighthouse doesn't look like, well, it kind of, I mean, if it was to, but, I mean, that is, that would be mm -hmm. out of proportion. It, you know? it might fall over. You know what we could do with this, though, Bill? We could play lighthouse. I mean, you know, we've played Lighthouse. Oh, yeah, we did that last year, yeah, didn't we? Yeah, because we're yeah. up here in the Milk Bottle Building, and you know, you kids at home that, that live, say, in a tall house or in an apartment, you could put a light in your window, and you just set it there like that, and you could play right. Lighthouse. And, you know, now we're like a lighthouse, and our light's shining out the window there. Of course, that doesn't solve my problem on this, Bill. I'm not sure what to do here. Now, I do have a couple smaller flashlights, and you can see that this one doesn't work because... Well, down in there, it I just, think. yeah, it yeah. just, it won't, I can't get it to, to sit in the there right. You turned it on either. Now, this one, I don't know. I, I haven't tried this one yet, but it might. Now, see, it's too big. It won't fit down. Mm -hmm. it. Well, Wait, though. You know something? That kind of looks, yeah. sometimes if you, if you change your plan a little bit. Now, what yeah. I need is a, a top on this thing, though. You oh, know? wait a minute. Wait a minute. Lighthouse wait has a, minute. a top. Wait a minute. I just had some orange juice here, and, and I finished. Gosh, yeah, stick Bill. it on the top. Just I don't think it it'll fit. No, turn it right over. Oh, no, no, the other way. Oh, okay. There you go. Bill, would you look you at think? that? There we go. It's really starting to look like a lighthouse. Let me turn see, that you on. You can see the light. See, yeah. I can turn the light on. There we go. Ah, there we go. I don't know there's any orange juice still in that cup. Nah, yeah, that cup's nice and clean. Let me put this. In fact, I'm going to take these are a couple souvenirs I've got down there. Let me slide in behind you here just a minute, Bill. Let's try putting this into the whole scene. See, I've taken another cardboard box. I've built a whole scene around this. Let's put nice. our little wind-up. He could be the lighthouse keeper. Let's just set these seagulls right out here, okay? You know, this reminds me. This reminds me of a song about flounder. Do you remember that song about flounder, flounder in, in the flounder lighthouse? Flounder by the sea. It, well, right. Listen, would you do that for us? Sure. I tell you yeah. what. Let me suggest to the kids at home. While Bill sings this song, I want you to listen very close to the words and see if you can see the pictures he's singing about. Go ahead, Bill. I'm going to finish up another lighthouse while you're at that. In a place called Flounder, Flounder by the sea You can smell the salt sea air in Flounder by the sea When the fishing boats go out, they come gently back to me Waiting there in flounder, in flounder by the sea. In a lighthouse out in Haven Point is holding up the sky. The seagulls call their greetings as they go drifting by. The pelicans are watching from their resting place. And the salt sea spray from the ocean breeze just kissed you in the face. There's a rainbow in the storm haze and white caps on the sea. A fishing boat tied to the dock is trying to get free. The buoy bell out in the bay plays its one note song. While the squeaky hinge on the ice house door tries to sing along in a place they call flounder, flounder by the sea. You can smell the salt sea air in flounder by the sea. The lady of good voyage is watching over me. My mates and my fishing ships are headed out to sea. When me, my mates, and my fishing ships are headed out to sea. Okay, now then, you'll feel better when you don't feel bad. 
Now you feel better when you don't feel bad. No, you won't get grumpy and you won't get mad. No, cause you feel better when you don't feel bad. Okay, kids, it's toy exercise time. That's right, this is the time to get those toys healthy, so line them up in front of the TV. You got them there? Well, if not, you just try to kind of go along with it yourself. I think you can do these things without any big problems. Of course, our real concern here is toy health. So one thing we like to do is have a toy health tip. And we've got one right here. And it's a good one, a really good one. To keep your toys dry and warm, bring them in when there's bad weather. I like that. That's a good tip. That's a good one. It sure is. OK, now I have my colleague here, Teddy Bear. My little co-host going to help us out with some exercises. And you might try this yourself, OK? This is one you may already know. It goes like this. It's called patty cake. Patty cake, patty cake. One, two, three. Patty cake, patty cake. One, two, three. Patty cake, patty cake. One, two, three. Well, we're about out of time, folks. So we'll see you next time. You be sure and look for Andy and keep those toys in good shape, all right? Well, you'll feel better when you don't feel bad. I said you'll feel better when you don't feel bad. Well, I've been cleaning up here, kind of putting things away, you know, making a lighthouse with all the tape and the glue and everything. You have to create a mess, and it's a very important when, after you do a project to kind of clean up afterwards. Well, I'll tell you what I've done. I've gotten out the uh, bass drum here because it had a nice painting on it of a fish. And I thought that would be real appropriate, you know, what we've got going on here today. We've been talking so much about the ocean and all. Of course, we still have our light sitting in the window here. We're still playing lighthouse here at the big milk bottle building. So it might be something you might want to do at home. Let me take this light here just a minute and check it. Yeah, it is still on. And uh, of course, this is just play like nothing could really happen. Let me just set it back in there, though. I mean, you know, we might as well have it on since we're doing this kind of show. Just leave it sit in the window, and that's what we're doing. We're playing lighthouse. What can I say? But about the drum here, about the drum, about Did you hear that? See that? pirate ship. A pirate ship. I think I better turn this light off right now. Oh my gosh, they're coming in the door. Oh, there's pirates. They pulled their ship up here at the big milk bottle building. I can hear them on the stairs. Let me check and see. They're coming up the stairs. I don't know what I'm going to do. Maybe I should hide over here. Oh, oh no. Oh, oh my gosh. Oh, they've got a treasure. Oh, hey, wait. Hey, hey, excuse me, there's been some mistake. No, wait, no, 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 you can't, you can't dig there. You cannot dig there. No, 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 wait, wait. Move out of the way, move out of the way. Give me that, you cannot dig there. This is, no, you cannot do that. Give me that shovel. You cannot, you can't dig. it says right here on our map. X marks the spot. Yeah, uh, well, X treasure. might mark the spot, but uh, I've got news it? for you. We got news You for can't you, go it? digging in my art studio. Art, art studio? This is a lighthouse. Look at the X on this here thing. We uh, okay, X let me marks see the that. spot. Yeah, well, right there's an X. I don't see any X here. X, so there's no X. X. I'll show you the X. I'll show you the X. Pirates. That's an X. What do you call that? What do I call that? That's an X. Is that a G? No. Is that a K? That's no, that's an X. not a G. That's, right. that's, that's not X. a K. I'll tell you what that is. That's an X. That's a window. A wind. He's trying to and put one on over here. He's an artist. No, 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 wait. Wait, let me, let me explain. What? Mrs. Greenpea, the kind lady that lives upstairs. I'm making her a flag here, and that's the frame of the window, and I'm putting it... You've just made a big mistake. You it looks made a like big an X. Look at that. Right. We've got the same X on our pirate map. Yeah, and we're going well, to bury her. You're Besides, not Miss Green Peace might find our treasure if we don't bury her. And we can bury her. Yeah. Yeah. Under it. Well, yeah. Miss Green Pea isn't going to bother your treasure. I'll tell well, you right now. Tell us, who yeah. are you, anyway? Well, what do you do? I'm an artist. An artist. Oh, yeah. 
Uh, I know you uh, probably think this is a lighthouse, but this it is, is a lighthouse. It's, it's, green. Green. Okay, well, yeah, it it's like not a lighthouse. Bottle or something. No, uh, it's a bottle. It's a milk bottle. It's a milk bottle building's what it is. Uh, well, what are you doing here? Well, anyway? I paint and I do paintings, and I'll tell you something else you probably wouldn't even believe. Uh, all right. right. I have a children's television show. I have a children's uh, television show, yeah, and sure, it's uh, on uh, right, right now. Right. Right now. Rondell, That's right. We're, this is, this is you're on TV. TV. You're on TV. Well, look, right, That's you're, right. You're on television. Well, and the kids, we're doing a show on lighthouses. Um, um, that explains the so, lighthouse. Uh, take your uh, shovel and take your treasure, and you can just get oh, on, wait, on, on your wait, way. Wait, We've got a, we have that wonderful on a story now. about Miss Vita Sing Along Whale. We'd love to sing it for the kids if we had a moment higher. Well, what do you think, kids? Should I let oh, him do this? Yeah, that's right. I mean, I don't we're know. really good pirates. Okay, I'll tell you what. Arr. Do the song, and then will you take your treasure and, you know, on your well, way. Well, maybe it, map, maybe it would be nice. There, maybe it would be nice. Okay. Over there. Yes, Arr. you may use my fiddle. Arr. Oh, Arr. my God. There's someone here. at the door. Hello, now, sir. hold it down just a moment. Hello, we're sir. Sir. Let's see here. Oh, Hello. But oh, wait a minute there. Oh. Officer Cardboard. Hey, you're going to have to move this ship. You're double parked. If you don't move it, I'm going to have to give you a ticket. Oh, no, a ticket. Please talk. We've had a lot of those. Is <laughs> that what you're going to do? Are you going to move it? it hard. Officer Cardboard. I need you to move your ship or I'm going to have to give you a ticket. It's not my ship. It's these pirates. and I, They'll be down in just a moment. They're going to do a song for the if kids and then they'll move the hard. ship, okay? A song for the kids? That's right. Well... Okay, I guess I can let this one slide then. All right, we appreciate it. Boy, you guys were lucky that time, All I'll right, tell you. Okay, but I'm open.
for many a day on the ocean. A storm came about from the west. Captain McNally got his men on the deck to play the song they knew best. The storm, it roared and it rattled, but it couldn't drown out their song. Then the storm calmed down to a whisper, and it started a singing along. direction and the night was minus a moon so they played a song of perfection with a part for a sing-along tune somewhere out in the darkness McNally so keen with his ear heard in the distance the song of a whale for mighty old Misty was near Sailing the ocean blue, lads, when sailing the ocean blue. 